I had gone to my dermatologist, Dr. Mings, and I had gone there because I had a little chap spot, tiny spot on my nose, and took a biopsy, found out it was basal cell. So he recommended Dr. Thorpe, one of um, two people he would have in the state of Idaho have the most procedures done. So I obviously I trusted him, came here. Um, great from the moment I walked in. Front office staff was amazing. The MAs were amazing. Dr. Thorpe is amazing. And I, I really, being from a medical, off office, you can tell that the staff is treated well by the physicians, and um, that's always a, a really good thing when you walk in. You know, I've had it before on my chest. I grew up in Southern California, went to the beach every day, baby oil, iodine, before we realized it was a huge mistake. Um, so I, I was prepared. I didn't, I wasn't quite prepared for the most procedure and what it really was. Um, and I wasn't prepared the magnitude that was going to happen here that day. I thought I was just going to have maybe a couple of stitches here and there and then realized the, 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 um, basal cell had gotten really deep and really wide. So, um, Dr. Thorpe <clears throat> was amazing because I couldn't understand how he was going to close that big hole up and, um, took his time and, I had incision from my eye all the way down to my mouth and I was quite shocked. I didn't think, <laughs> I didn't realize how vain I was until that moment and could not believe how well it had healed. I have friends who keep asking me what Dr. Thorpe's name, because if they ever come across that, they want the same thing. So I was a little nervous going into this, not knowing what was going on. and. And Dr. Thorpe made me feel quite comfortable that he knew what he was doing and I would not even tell that I had this done. And it came out that way. I have people I run into, they had, they could not tell whatsoever until I showed them the picture of what actually happened. Everybody was super kind. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it hurt a little bit when numbing the face, that was the only pain I really had. Um, once that was over, you know, it's, it's a waiting game. So you, they take us a, a slice and check it out and come back and do it again. And unfortunately I had to do it several times, um, <clears throat> but you wouldn't know it by looking at me at this point. Uh, and everybody was just so kind and reassuring that this would, is gonna look perfect and the quality of work Dr. Thorpe does. And it, it turned out to be very true get it checked right away. They present like a little dry spot, scabby, sometimes would bleed. They just don't heal. And that's not a normal process of the skin. And so if you have a spot that is not healing, get it checked. Do not wait. Very easy, very easy. The only thing I really couldn't do is bend over for a week. Um, <clears throat> and had a little pain when I was smile because of the sutures that he had in there. Simple, N had no problems whatsoever. It took about three weeks for it to, to feel normal. Yeah, it's, I was in shock. I was in total shock on how quickly this healed and can't see it. You know, one of the things they recommended to me was if I didn't listen to anything is to put Vaseline on everything and that's all I did. I used soap and water to shower with the sutures in, Vaseline when I was done, cover it up if I was gonna be in the sun. No, I, I really don't, because I use sunscreen quite a bit. I, I golf, so I'm outside all day. I work in the yard, I hike. So sunscreen has always been a very normal thing for me. I do believe what had occurred occurred when I was younger. I do have a daughter, she's 32, a nurse, an RN in, in, in uh, Boise. And she is very much the sunscreen. The knowledge base is so different from back, you know, when I was in my teens or 20s, you know. It's so different now. It's just a common life thing that we do.